Tommy and Jimmy and their orchestra. And featuring the June Taylor dancers. With guest stars Elvis O'Presley, Glenn O'Derringer, and Henny O'Youngman. Presented for your enjoyment by Quick, the chocolate flavor that makes milk taste like a million. And Nescafe. The tastier coffee made the modern way to satisfy your coffee hunger. And away we go! stage show and tonight a special to look, hello to all those of Irish persuasion. Brother T, suppose you start the festivity. All right, top of the evening to you all. And here to give some good advice is Jimmy Nelson, assisted by his company of leprechauns. Seamus, take it oh, away. Thank you, Tommy. Ah! I never heard of it. How do you spell it? V-A-S-S-A-R. I don't want it to... Vassar. <laughs> Danny, you're no explorer. Vassar's a girls' school. You explore where you want, and I'll explore where I want. <laughs> I, I, well, Dr. Nestle's, I presume. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nestle's, you stupid dog. They make quick. It gives you this milk, that, that delicious, chocolatey flavor. Nestle's, quick! You're shouting. <laughs> Of course, I'm shouting quick at something to shout a dog. Kids love it. My, oh, my. <laughs> Make some for him, will you, Nelson? All right, I will, Danny, because nothing could be easier. Really? All you do is take fresh whole milk. I hear you talking. <laughs> add two spoonfuls of quick, just like this. Uh-huh. A little stir, and it's all made. How about that? You know, kids will drink up lots more nourishing milk when you add quick and turn it into a real chocolate treat. Oh, quick. Get Nestle's quick. It makes milk taste like a million. Mm, he means it's good. Yes, he does. No. And the yes, the only yes, Nestle's makes the very best. Sure, and it's chocolate. <laughs> I'd like to present an entertainer whose provocative style has kicked up a storm all around the country. Here for his fifth appearance on stage show is the singing star of the Louisiana Hay Ride in Shreveport, Shreveport, Louisiana, that is, the one and only Elvis Presley. <laughs>
Well, it's the one for the money. Two for the show. Three to get it ready. Now I go can't go. Step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything. All for my blue suede shoes. Well, you can knock me down. Step on my face. Slander my name all over the place. Well, do anything that you want to do. But uh, uh, honey, they hold for my shoes. And don't. Step on my blue suede Bring my liquor from an old fruit jar. We'll do anything that you wanna do. But uh, uh, honey, hey, hold for my shoes. Step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything, but lay hold for my blue suede shoes. Ah! Show three to get ready now. Go, can't go, but don't step on my blue You can do anything, but they hop on my blue suede shoes. Well, it's blue, 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 blue suede shoes. 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 You can do anything. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was my latest RCA escape, a release. Uh, we have another one here. We have another song here, friends, that uh, we hope you like. It's called Heartbreak Hotel. Well, since my head baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. I'll be so lonely, baby. Well, I'm so lonely. I'll be so lonely. I could die. Although it's always crowded, you still can find me here. For a broken heart, to cry there and it will be so Baby, she's a lonely baby oh, so lonely Well, they feel so lonely when they could die Now the bellhop's tears keep flowing and The desk clerk's dressed in black Well, they've been so long on lonely street They'll never, they'll never look back And they'll say Baby, she's a lonely baby Oh, they're so lonely they're there, they're here so long, and they're afraid to die. Take a walk down Lonely Street to Heartbreak Hotel. You'll be so lonely, baby. Well, you'll be lonely. You'll be so lonely. You could die. A young performer appeared with Jackie Gleason and achieved tremendous success. This young organist has just finished a national tour under the auspices of the Whirler Organ, organ People. <laughs> and we had him down at the Statler Hotel the other night. He played for us, ladies and gentlemen. We think he's sensational. Here he is, 
11-year-old Glenn O'Derringer. <laughs> How, how do you feel tonight? Fine. Well, that's great. How about playing a little St. Patrick's Day music for us? Sure, it is a grand idea. Oh, you're a fine broth of a lad. Swing around there and let's have a little bit of this stuff. Listen, Mac. What? Who's that old lady cavorting down there? Is that your mother? Like your mother, too, you know. Oh, is that right? Yes, it is. Is that Mom? Well, look at her. Doesn't she look wonderful? She sure does. Mom Dorsey. Get her again. Get her again. Get it again. And that fine broth of a man sitting behind her there, is that Guy O. Lombardo? Well, it isn't anybody else. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Guy, thanks a million for stopping by. Ladies and gentlemen, next Tuesday night at 9 o'clock to 9.30 over the CBS television network, Guy starts his own television show. It's called The Guy Lombardo Diamond Jubilee. And Guy, come Tuesday night, we'll be over there with a song that we think you're going to like. Tommy, if nothing could make us happier than having you and Jimmy on our first show. We'll be there. We'll be there. And so thank you for coming over. St. Patrick's Day, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Guy Lombardo. Now, here's a young boy that we think is sensational. I think you'll agree when you hear Glenn Derringer play the Tommy Dorsey Boogie Woogie. Whip it up, boy.
now we bring you a man who has just returned from where I don't know. Here he is, that well-known wit, raconteur, and indifferent musician, Henny O. Youngman. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go ahead, I'd like to tell you about a story in the Cosmopolitan magazine about the Dorsey brothers. And tomorrow night, the Harbin Club is running a little party for them. Buy this magazine, folks, and read their life story. They're really a wonderful bunch of boys. And I want to tell you, their mother's here tonight, and uh, I got a kick out of seeing her dancing. Arthur Murray was teaching her all day today, I think. <laughs> well, you taught him, I don't know. I want to tell you, New York observed St. Patrick's Day today, and everybody wore green. I haven't seen so much green stuff since Gleason paid his income tax. <laughs> this is really the time of the year for marriage, you know. Everybody's getting married. Grace Kelly, Margaret Truman, they've all announced their engagement. And I want to tell you, Grace Kelly is going to be married in a gambling casino at Monte Carlo. I can just see the minister saying, I pronounce it too, the hard way. <laughs> I think it's silly. She's better stacked than the chips. <laughs> I want to tell you, all right. I had a great time today, and incidentally, Monaco is putting Grace Kelly's picture on the stamp. I think it's a wonderful idea. I've always wanted to play post office with Grace Kelly. <laughs> People ask what I know about love. Well, you know, I should. I drove a taxi cab for three years. After all, I went to all of Artie Shaw's weddings. He's been married so many times, he has rice marks on his face. <laughs> I guess you all know Margaret Truman's marrying a foreign correspondent in the New York Times. Just to show you how happy Harry Truman is with the news, he asked General MacArthur to be the best man. <laughs> I love weddings. I went to a wedding recently. Several years ago, I went to a wedding, and uh, the minister said, if anyone here objects to the wedding, speak up. I said, I do. He said, shut up, you're the groom. <laughs> I saw a wedding over in Park Avenue the other day, and they're so rich over there, when they hang old shoes on the back of the car, they don't even bother to take the people out of them. <laughs> you know, you gotta afford to be married, kids and so forth. I mean, I, I couldn't afford to buy my kid a do-it-yourself kit, so I, I bought him a Marilyn Monroe do-it-yourself kit. I bought a pair of pliers, and he's building his own girl. <laughs> my wife looks like Monroe, James Monroe. <laughs> My wife and I even fought the day we got married. The preacher said, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I said, I do. She said, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Who gave me that joke? <laughs> well, I gotta admit, we quarrel, like, uh, we quarrel like other married couples. I mean, we have our little disagreements. We have our little fights. Why, only the other night we had a slight disagreement. Nothing at all. Only two police cars. <laughs> Women are disturbed. My wife still goes to a psychiatrist. She went to a psychiatrist the other day. He says, uh, what did you dream about last night? She says, nothing. He says, if you don't do your homework, I can't help you, you know. <laughs> One thing about my wife, she likes to keep pretty. She stays up to date. She went to a beauty parlor the other day to get a mud pack, and for two days, she looked beautiful. Then the mud came off. <laughs> this is all silly. I've seen too many happy romances broken up by marriage. I read about a man the other day, 92, he fell in love with a woman, 90. They couldn't get married. The parents objected. <laughs> I'll never forget years ago, there was a girl I was going to marry, but her father hated me. About a year, <laughs> a year later, I met another girl, and her father hated me. So finally, I met a girl whose father loved me, but the girl hated me. <laughs> you get mixed up that way, you know. I said, oh, darling, imagine us married. The two of us would become one. I said, the two of us would become one. Wouldn't there be a lot of stuff left over? <laughs> That's for Fat Jack Leonard. <laughs> it's tough one to help, you know, when you're married. My maid is very touchy. My maid quit the other day. She caught me kissing my wife. <laughs> Say, I want to tell you, you know what a mixed emotion is? When you see your mother-in-law going over a cliff in your brand new car. You gotta stand for relatives when you get married, you know. I have a brother-in-law, we didn't know he drank till the other day, somebody saw him sober. <laughs> you know, we have relatives, I got a mother. My mother loves to sit in front of the television set. 
She says, wake me up when it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> One thing I want to tell you all you people before you go anywhere. Marriage is a union where the husband pays all the dues. <laughs> and incidentally, Mr. and Mrs. Truman, don't think of it as losing your daughter. Think of it as gaining a bathroom. <laughs> to add to St. Patty's Day is Pity and Jimmy for Nescafe. Was at a ball I met my kushla Those Irish eyes soon won me heart And with the moon she told me tales galore Of leprechauns and other Irish lore So after we were I asked her what the wee folk said. They said, whether your name is Sheehan or Mian, O'Brien, O'Ryan, Houlihan, Monaghan, Flanagan, Brannigan, McNamara, or just plain Jones, to satisfy your coffee hunger. Right you are. Nescafe is the one to buy. Yes, Nescafe truly is tastier coffee because it's all coffee, nothing but coffee, made from choice coffee beans, the very pick of the crop, freshly roasted to give you that rich, delicious, satisfying flavor. And you know, Nescafe is actually your best coffee buy, because this big six-ounce economy-sized jar of Nescafe gives you 96 cups of the one coffee made especially to satisfy your coffee hunger. Bless your loving heart. So get this big 96-cup jar of Nescafe right away. Sure faith in Begara, so...
<laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Be sure to tune in next week for another great stage show. Yes, indeed. We're going to have a great re reunion next week. We're going to have the thin Jack Leonard on our program. That is the singer that started out with Brother Tom. Jack Leonard, and we're going to play Marie, have Jack Leonard sing it. Yeah, and I want to tell you, that is Nord. You've got a, a, a great act, ladies and gentlemen. You've got the wonderful team of Condos and Brandos coming up here. They're just sensational. And with June Taylor's new comedy numbers, production numbers. Well, this is the new thing she's going to do. It's, it's the first time this season she's going to do one of her sensational musical production numbers. And returning also will be Elvis Presley. <laughs> And Glenn Derringer, incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, Elvis Presley is appearing in Charleston, South Carolina tomorrow. And we're all going. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Say, we did pretty well. Oh, let's have a we did pretty well with that dance. Let's do the dance let's over again. You didn't do it right. Let's do it. Company, making it next week quick for instant flavored chocolate milk. And that's the way, the modern way, to satisfy your coffee hunger. 